Hi, I'm Gina, dancing couponer of six. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. And if you're a returner, I hope you've already subscribed. Mm. But hey guys, so today we're going to show you about all the different activities that I use for my preschooler, which really he's not even a preschooler. He's only two and a half. But hey, you know, that's what they call him, preschool age, right? Early learning age, whatever. But uh, here we go. Stay tuned. Okay, so I have a gazillion activities that we're going to do for the entire school year. Now, remember, this is for the entire school year. So don't be um, talking about me for having uh, like a gazillion million trillion things on my table so i'm just gonna go through them really really quickly so basically you know you got your arts and craft stuff paint he's gonna be doing his basket um with a little he'll be able to paint these like the little fruit basket so he'll be doing that sometime this year um paint we're doing the uh, paint with water colors as well and then his little wiggly wiggly eyes that we're going to use for crafting okay so now we have moving over here his huge jumbo playing cards see how big that is it's like there it is seven and a half by ten and a quarter cards so we use this for different things for matching um i take a deck and i match them and then we use this for uh counting so i can use these little rocks or any type of uh, like buttons or whatever you want to use and then we count and we, he puts one on each um, one on each um, spot and we count to seven number seven um, so we do matching and counting with this and then the buttons again we have a little I have a little ice tray I have them break up play-doh and put a little piece of play-doh on each one for fine motor skills or we'll count and use the marbles for that or we'll use the dice and roll the dice and he has to put in the number the count the dots and put in the amount of marbles in the tray yes baby ice tray yes ma'am yes ma'am look shoot we can save money we're gonna save some money and i got these cards at the, at the uh five and below i don't know where i got a lot of this stuff at but i'll try to remember and leak it in the bottom this is pretty cool. It's just a little activity. Well, not even activity. It's like pills, right? But this, actually, I got from the dollar store. They're supposed to put them in water and they turn into um, cars or dinosaurs or something like that. But anyway, he get to watch that grow. This is obviously Play-Doh, Play-Doh cutters. So we'll work with that. Um, these are plates that I made. Where he'll just like number one, one through ten, and he'll put a, a button or a marble or something in the number that he needs for that. This is actually um, the color stick. And he has to match them to the patterns that I created. Actually, I didn't create this. JDA. JDA is, oh my God, I love her, her channel. I got these off of her channel. And I just cut them up and laminated them into little squares so Jaden has to basically try to recreate what he sees and I have some easier ones but they must be somewhere else right now so he'll just take the sticks and try to recreate this also with this insane bucket yes ma'am don't y'all get hungry <laughs> the cookie bucket from Sam's hello I took the top and I cut holes in it see this so what he does is with the top on it, he takes the same sticks and he has to put them down in the hole. And then he has to turn his wrist and work his way in the hole. And then push it in there with his little fingers. So that's working them hands too. Um, these are just little buttons that I've, I bought so he can match colors or he can use them to, <clears throat> excuse me, answer questions for like his, you know, put the buttons on, like we mentioned before. For that these are felt numbers well we'll just use this on the floor and count with the numbers felt letters will make 
words out of these. And then this is shapes. So let me show you. Basically, I got these from Michaels. So he'll take the tri uh tri the triangle and match the other triangle. But I have a tray that I put them in. And these are stars and things like that. So you can either match colors, sort by colors, or he can actually sort by shape. See, that's two circles. Okay. These are what everybody loves, the color bears. Yay! And we make patterns out of these, sort colors, make patterns. I have some pattern cards that um, I printed off a line. And uh, I just love the little teddy bears. Aren't they cute, y'all? They're so cute. Okay, so that's what that's for that. And then back here, I hope my belly ain't too big. It might cover the puzzle. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, these are different puzzles that we I ordered uh, on eBay for Melissa and Doug. <clears throat> these are all Melissa and Doug puzzles. Love them, love them, love them. And he has all of his... So anyways, and there's more, there's more, there's more. Okay. And then the last one is the cars. And then in each baggie, sandwich bag, I have the pieces to go with those. Okay. This, he's going to learn how to zip, button, snap, and buckle. Zip, button, snap, button, tie his shoe. So he'll be learning all this. And yes, this is Melissa and Doug as well. But I did find one with a Mickey Mouse on it. It was like, it was smaller for a whole lot less on uh, clearance at uh, Walmart. This one was $17 at Target. And the other one was at Walmart. So um, yeah, that's why it's not open. I'm gonna take this one back and exchange it. Well, and get my money back. I thought this was so cute. I forget where I found this at. But this is a little bug puzzle. You see that? And then, I think I lost the pieces. But anyway, they want a table somewhere. The pieces match exactly to the puzzle, so he can just match the, pu the pe puzzle piece. Oh, there it is right here. So he'll just match the pieces to the actual puzzle. It's kind of hard, but because you have the actual picture on the board. It's a little bit easier for him. And this is from the Learning Journey International. So that's what this you can get if you want this puzzle. It comes from there. <clears throat> this is a Melissa Doug puzzle too, but this is like an upgrade to what he's already got. I just got this one, so it's like a four-piece puzzle. Four four-piece puzzles, and you see how the picture is there as well. Yeah, okay. So that's that. Then chug it along. Chug it, chug it, chug it. Okay. I got these tweezers. I thought they were so cute. Can y'all see them? They like little jumbo tweezers. I got these from the Dollar Tree. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Dollar Tree. So he'll use the little pom poms that, you know, <laughs> that's putting all over the table. And he'll use these to pick them up and put them wherever. And of course we can sort colors and you know, all that good stuff with this. So I thought that was pretty cool. Dollar Tree, okay? Then he has his play school first words. So like cat, things like that. This is from the dollar, dollar store too. Then the Bible memory game. So we're just using this for matching for who goes with what story. Okay. Um, these, all these animals are ordered off of uh, eBay from different people. So they're basically big animals. So you can see giraffe, elephant, things like that. What's this? That's the lion, right? Yeah, tiger got stripes. <laughs> And the horse. So what I did was I took pictures of all these animals <clears throat> and then I printed them out on my handy dandy printer, laminated them, and made flashcards. Yay! 
So basically, I let stack all his animals on the floor, and I give him a card, and I say, "Can you find this animal and match it?" So he loves to run around the floor and match the animals. So something that I created. That. So if you have any like uh, stuffed animals or whatever, you can just. I just realized my whole head is cut off. My heart is done, y'all. This is the old though. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, this is the alphabet train. So, basically, oh, and numbers. I'm sure y'all seen this before. You just you get the alphabet together. And we work on that. Okay. Then, we almost done, see? We moving along. Now, this. I bought this at, uh, what I buy it? I'm gonna turn y'all just a little bit and give you a little lift. I think I could probably move y'all closer. There we go. Okay, so, well, I moved you closer, so I probably cut my hair off again. <laughs> but anyway, so this is what I bought. 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 So or basket and then you get all the color fruits and vegetables so you got the red apple you gotta put the red apple in the red basket and then the green cucumber in the green basket so it's sorting colors and then he's actually learning he knows that this is an eggplant and that's not ain't that cute you see how cute that is okay so that's basically that and then the pumpkin and i thought that was really cute so he just sorts them all out and then we can count Sort, colors, all that good stuff. Okay. I'm gonna try to remember where I got all this stuff from and link it for you all if you want to purchase it. Now, this is from Dollar Store. They just orange cones, but he loves basketball, so he's learning how to, you know, dribble and all that stuff. So we're gonna do like the figure eight around these two coin uh, cones, and then you know, we'll see what he do with that. Besides tripping over it or trying to jump over it or skip over it, like you know. You see, ain't that something y'all see how I screwed it over so I can cover my <laughs> my fat nose. <laughs> okay. So I'm learning how to cut, so we're gonna cut these little fuzzy thingies and make characters and whatever else. I'm gonna look at y'all website, y'all YouTube channel for this, because I don't know what to do with this thing, but I just bought it because I figured I should. So this is for his sensory bin, big bag of white rice and black beans. And I did try this last year and it was a sensory bin fail because he tried to take this and throw it all out of the basket. I was like, it's supposed to stay in the basket. So yeah, I'm trying it again since he's a little bit older now. Okay, hand you in the clock. You turn the clock and the time goes around, around, around. Okay. So anyways, he's just gonna learn, you know, numbers and the time is two o'clock. That is two, right? It's cheating. Okay. Two o'clock. So that's that. I'm gonna make a sense we've been out of these feathers. I'm gonna put them on something else. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, chug it along. These are trace and lace cards. Melissa and Doug, my favorite people again. So basically they're cards. They have to lace them through the cords and these are all different uh vehicles the boats and the airplane and the, yeah i should be a melissa and doug uh candidate right melissa and doug go get yours before they're all sold out no okay so <laughs> numbers so basically one one tiger and then they just slide me down so it's basically puzzle. Everything keeps falling out of my basket. But it's a number puzzle. Eh. Okay. That's that. In here, this container here I bought off Amazon. I love it because it holds my flashcards. It holds photos and all this stuff too. But these are all his flashcards, which I don't need to go through. Numbers, colors, letters. Y'all know the deal on that. Then these are his blocks. We stack blocks. He does have a set of color ones that went in here but they're all downstairs all over the floor so yeah no um letters these are magnetic letters so we use those to make words on the pan and all that good stuff this is his um uh, shapes 
rectangle, triangle, oval, and circles. And they have different colors on each side. Okay, yeah. My stuff just flying all over the place. And that's what Melissa and Doug also. This is go fish. We'll match to play Mac with that. We know nothing but play Mac with that. This in here is all his uh, word cards that I created. So the boy is taking a sip. Sip. So I have him read the card, sound the card out, and then we say, oh, Yes! He is taking a sip of his pinky up. Take a sip. Sip a sip a sip. Okay, so this right quick. I made these myself. So basically they're the uh, ending sounds, ending sounds, ending sounds, and then I will take two letters and then I will put them, like say for instance, add, add, and then I will say, if I say add, which letter goes? What's the beginning sound? Is it s or t? S sad, sad. And then he has to pick which one goes there. So, yeah. You come around. You come around. Don't talking about me. Come on, girl. That's too much of that baby. Okay, so. You know, we're just working, working, working. All right. Last couple of things and I'm done. This is colors and shapes. So basically it's a color and shape puzzle. You know, you just find the matching pattern. And on the back it has hexagon, lime green. And that's the other side of the, of the cord. I got these from Target. Learning games, uh, masterpieces learning games. This is opposites. So it's self-explanatory. It's a puzzle, you know, you match wet, dry, in, out. And those are the pieces in there. The alphabet. Bible games, my first match and learn puzzle by Christian Learning Resources for Children. So basically, um, capital letter with the lowercase and the word, the, start letter, uh, the starting sound. And then on the flip side of the chord is the capital and the lower. So they have to match the two. So that's why I really love that because you can have to match both the front and the back. So that's how that goes. So I love that. This is something my sister bought him. I thought it was too cute. Yeah, draw jammies. So you just draw on the on the draw on the um, pajamas. You wear them and then you wash them and then you start all over again. So this was pretty nice. And this is by um, drawjammies.com. Okay. And then lastly is I got some Target kinetic sand. I always wanted to give him some kinetic sand, so I found this and it actually comes with the tray and the different little. Uh, what they call them things? Oh, don't none of you. Well, some of y'all might speak Spanish. <laughs> Sandcastle set. There it is. That's the English side. So, this is connected saying it's supposed to, you know, not supposed to dry out. You're supposed to be able to use it over and over and over again. And that's it, guys. So, oh, his music. He has his flute. Hey, you can see me through the mirror. Look at that. Hey, the double. Okay. See, I've been getting my mind, y'all. My mind, I've been getting lost. Oh, his color wheel, I made this. You see how thin it is, right? I made it. And then I got the little they they actually um what are they? From the Target, what they call it's magnetic and it's um chip bag clips. Ooh. Or you know you put them on the refrigerator and you hold paper or stuff on it. But they have the nice little all the different nice pretty colors. And so I was like, ha. Huh. So I made him a color wheel and now he just or his fine motors, he takes the color, matches it, and squeezes it on there. Like that. So that's that. Then this is this game called Find and Fast Wild Animals. Every two chords have one of the same animals on it, and you have to figure it out. So can you figure it out really quickly? Five, four, three, two, one. And okay, so it's actually the, what's that, baboon? Yeah, on each card. Did y'all see that right away? Or was some of y'all kind of like, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Move your hand. Make it closer. Okay. So, anywho, that's it, guys. And then he has, you know, um, 
some sight word cards that I made for him. That I made those too. And then that is it. Besides same or different cards. I got this from Michaels. And then Fumble Phonics, the beginning sounds of the blends, you know, like shh and all the other words. Shh and shh and yeah, all that good stuff. So he has like his music, so he has his little flute, he has a set of drums, the actual real set of drums down in the basement. And then there's a piano down there too. So we'll do music and then um, his actual curriculum, his lesson plan curriculum. I'll do that on a separate video. See you later. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, questions, um, or if you want something that you saw, maybe I didn't get a chance to link it, just go ahead and put a comment at the bottom and I'll find, try and find it for you. If you need me to... Um, it's something that I made myself personally. Let me know because I can get it where you can get a copy of that as well. Oh, before I say bye. Hit subscribe. Comment. Share. Like. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, y'all. Okay. Bye. Hi. 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 Hello. <laughs>